Hey guys, I'm gonna do a video about something that really has to stop that's been going on for 16 and a half years to these two beautiful children. Janny and Bodie. So, this is a case of Munchausen syndrome by proxy. And Munchausen syndrome is when you make up illness or symptoms for your children to get attention. And this woman, Susan Schofield, is a Munchausen Syndrome mom to Janny and Bodie. So these both kids, Janny is brilliant. She knew how to talk at a very, very young age. She was still a baby. She knew her colors, her letters when she was an infant. She's always been brilliant and a genius and creative and imaginative. And she hit home because I relate to her a lot because I was never understood for having autism and this kid I think both the kids Bodie was diagnosed with autism Janie wasn't but she was misdiagnosed with borderline child, childhood schizophrenia and I think if you're born seeing things other people don't see you're gifted you're not crazy. She's obviously on a spectrum of autism. She's on the higher end of the spectrum. She probably has Asperger's. Like me. I have Asperger's. She does this and claps a lot. And that's called stimming. And, stimming, and that is part of... A, a huge part of autism and I know tons of people with schizophrenia and they don't do that they don't act like she does they don't talk like she does you can tell she's got autism spectrum disorder and she seen things other people couldn't see and no one understood that they thought she was crazy she she would be put in mental wards at young age, drugged out of her mind, and she still is. She has poison in her body because her mom keeps giving her this poisonous meg medicine. It's not medicine, it's acid. It's rotting her brain cells. She's Dying, but not as fast as Bodhi is. Bodhi is dying really quickly. I can see him dying in the next few years. He's having seizures constantly, and that kills you. They don't tell that he's having seizures. They just think he's... That he's ignoring them, or... Well, I'm sure part of this is annoy ignoring because the mo her, his mom is like so annoying. She's bossy. She's demanding. She is ignorant, stupid, and loud and abusive. They blamed Michael, their dad, 
for molesting the children. But he's trying to save his children. Susan is the one that molested them. They both complained about their butt hurting at a young age. They both did. And that, I think, shows that they were molested in their, in their, in their butt, their butt. And she just, whenever Bodhi would say something that didn't make sense, which autism do all the time, she would say, oh, he's not on the right medication yet. You see, she don't understand him. She's going to have these kids. And she fights the government to get these strong drugs for, she argue with the government for them to drug her child. Jenny has her own world called Halalani. How do you say something like Halalani? sounds real to me like it's another universe another plane but she goes to to escape her mother and now her stepfather who also believe molests the children her one time Bodhi said I like pink jello and with doing his hand flap like autism people do. I do that when I get excited. And she's like, Haha, we don't have him on the right medication yet. And every, she embarrassed them. She's always, one time there was this creepy guy homeless guy and she, Jenny was on her period and she said to she said to because Jenny didn't want to talk about why she wasn't feeling well and her mom forced her to admit that she was on her period in front of this man she's done more than that Jenny had no bra on and she started to film her with no bra on and she's hiding her chest with the book and her mom's like, put that book down. She's not just, she's not just being, she's being a horrible mother and she's trying to expose her children sexually. I can see ghosts. I see spirits. They scare me. I not I not I don't like having this gift. I tell people I have this gift, they just roll their eyes and think I'm nuts. This is with Danny. She sees things. She used to see them, but she was forced out of her gift. And now she and also, I believe she went to demonic possession by some of these evil spirits because she would lose control of herself and do things she didn't want to do. We need to get these kids in a good home. out of this home because they're dying and they're being abused. Why won't anyone help them? 
As much as we fight to help them, nobody will help us help them.